In boxing, there is no place like the corner. The corner is home to craftsmen who must be part surgeon, part field general, part psychologist. For James Tony, his corner is manned by one of the best, a wily veteran named Bill Pops Miller. We're running out of rounds. We got the dog this man. At first glance, 74-year-old Bill Miller and 25-year-old James Tony would seem an odd couple. And indeed, early on, the two didn't mesh. I remember the first time we used to work together at that gym. Oh, I wanted to kill you. <laughs> yeah, he's the meanest guy I met. And, you know, because he don't take no, you know, pops don't take the bullshit. He's, he's straight up. It's either his way or the highway. He said, I'm too old for this. I don't need this. If, you, if you're going to learn, you're going to learn. If you're going to play around, go somewhere else, because I don't need you. I looked at James and said, he looks like he's a good athlete. All he needs is somebody to stay on and push him and be willing to teach him because probably up until then, he probably never dealt with nobody like me. What Miller saw in Tony was a flashback to his own youth, to the 1930s in Cincinnati, where Miller began his boxing career as a young boy. My mother had three brothers. They was all prize fighters. Uh, consequently, at the early age, they used to take me with them to them gyms. But as they would teach me, I'd practice on all the kids in the neighborhood. <laughs> For seven decades, Miller has studied the sweet science, and now he imparts his encyclopedic knowledge of the sport to James. Professor Miller tutors his young student with the help of vintage fight films, particularly those of an old friend from Cincinnati, former heavyweight champion Ezard Charles. We'd always watch the man's combinations, then we'd watch his defense. I could make a man miss him, slip and slide, roll and count, and have, still have good position, good balance, and knew where he was at at all times out there. And these are the things that, you know, we should talk about, says, you're going to do all of this here. And we should always say that you're going to be better than these guys. You're going to take what they had and improve on it. He used to hang out with his man as a child, so he tried to bring some of that out in me. You know, I work on, he gave me some tapes, he said, look at these tapes, study them, and then you try to perfect them as we go along. He don't try to push nothing on you. You know, he's a teacher. He's not a trainer, he's a teacher. I'm a student, I listen to everything he says. There is one thing, however, that James will not listen to. Bill's music. Bill Miller's passion for boxing is exceeded only by his love of jazz. Well, I should always say, that Charlie Parker was the music, what Ray Robinson was at the boxing. <laughs> when you listen to Charlie Parker play, you listen to a master, you heard it all there. And he expressed it with his instrument, where Ray Robinson expressed his with his movement, his hand speed, and his agility, and it was closely related. It told you a message. All in all, Bill Miller and James Tony are an odd couple. But the combination works because of their mutual love of boxing and their mutual respect and love for one another. See, James like a son to me. I love James. I do anything for James. People say, well, why don't you change his attitude? If I change his attitude, then he wouldn't be James Tony. I love him like he is. And so he's like a dad to me, a dad that I never had coming up, you know. I can go to Pops for anything. Yeah, I love Pops. He's great. You know, I just love him. I love him dearly.